Hello everybody, this is David from goldstartool.com A very, very quick video regarding the cutting machines. Uh, this is a 10 inch new tech straight cutting machine. There is also a six inch one and an eight inch one. We're getting ready to ship this out to a customer. He has requested to have the machine opened up and checked and make sure everything is okay. So uh, the machine is 10 inch, comes with all the accessories. I'm gonna just show you, you just opened up the box. You'll get this part in the box. You just plug it in here. You just go plug it in and it goes right in and locks. That's it, the rest, 110 volt, goes to a regular home or commercial uh, uh, plug. You have here in the box, you get some, um, this is the grease that if you wanna know where the grease goes, you could open these two up from time to time, right here, right here, and you grease the, um, the, um, the wheels inside. Uh, this is an oil that goes right here. The machine is not oiled. As soon as you get the machine, you have to leave some oil in here, pour some oil in there, and there is, you'll see when the oil comes up in here. Okay, so the oil goes here. Uh, you get two uh, screws to opening this up to, again, to uh, grease the gears inside. Uh, this is a slide cleaner. I'm gonna get to it in a moment. One second, I'm gonna get to this. An extra blade. This is a 10 inch one, so we have a 10 inch blade extra. We have three uh, Allen wrench for variety of, if you wanna uh, adjust the sharpener here. Um, and you also have a maybe 10 sharpener belt. And you will also get the uh, part book and owner's manual, which tells you also how to, in the beginning, uh, how to care for the machine, different stuff. Now, um, when, this is a very good, uh, you have a wrench here to change the blade. How do you change the blade? While we add it, I just wanted to show you. You lay it flat on its belly, uh, if you zoom in here, to change the blade, you gotta make sure the machine is off and also unplugged, okay? Unplug it, make sure it's off. The screw to open up the knife is right here. The way you get to bring it down is back here. Press it down and move it and rotate. Press down, rotate, and you'll see this one right here comes down. This is the uh, screw that we're gonna open. This is the wrench, you pull it in here. I'm not gonna open it up. You pull it in here and counterclockwise. Lefty, loosey. You open up the blade, very careful. When you open it up, push it down this way. You take it out of here from the bottom. Now, there's plastic in here, but the blade would come out of here. And then when it would come out, what you do is, we call this a slide right here. It's old up right now, it's not a big deal, because we wanna make sure that the machine is good running. You take this slide cleaner and clean it inside, okay? And then when you wanna put the blade back up again, the same way, from the bottom, you pull it up all the way up, and you turn uh, turn the bolt, or uh, tighten the bolt. Okay, that's that, very easy. I have a bunch of video on that, I just wanted to make sure. How you care for the machine, the grease, the oil, and when you plug it in, turn on. This is the sharpener. A lot of people don't know that this machine has a sharpener. You see, press this once, it will go and come up. Now, 
a lot of times when we ship this machine, this sharpener moves like the way it is right now. I'm gonna do it. Let's say when we ship and you receive the machine, you, the, the sharpener unit is either here or here. It moved from its uh, original place, which is up here. You have a sensor here, you see that? Now, if I turn the machine, it should go back up. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes when it's gone, sometimes it will stay down. The stay down and the machine makes a noise. Uh, what you do is you take this and you take up, down, all the way up. And then you again. So I'm gonna do it again. Let's say if it's this place, and if you turn the machine, it makes that uh, noise that this is trying to turn and can't turn, okay? All you do is this up, this down, and you take this, push all the way up. And it will, and it will work again. Now, How do you know, how do you know if sharpener is good? By touching the sharpener, you'll feel if this still had any sands in it, still could sharpen. One more thing that you could do, get a marker. Mark your knives on the edge, both sides. Let's say this edge, you mark the edge right here and mark the other side, the edge. When you mark it black, Okay, let me get a marker. I don't have a marker. I thought I have a marker. All I'm saying is that you mark right here. Oh, here. I have a mark. Thank you. The way you mark it up here. You see this mark? All the way up. From here, mark it. These are 10 years of experience. You mark the edge. Okay and turn on the machine. And you do sharpen. You see, the pain, the mark is gone. The mark is gone. That means that the sharpener is still sharpening and it's in a good condition and uh, doesn't need adjustment. If you need more, if you need the sharpener to do more wide sharpening, you could adjust uh, from here, you could adjust the shoe, you could adjust inside. I tell you, don't touch it, it's the best thing because these are completely set. So this is the machine, got the wheels underneath. This is 10 inch and right here. So we got cut off, but this is a level right here for the fabric. When you put the fabric down, you put this up, you see? It sits on a fabric. Let's say we have fabric here, bam, sits right here. You gotta make sure when it's not up like this, don't turn on the machine and do the sharpener, see? You see, it sparkles, it's not a big deal. The sparkling is not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Sharpen up and down. From time to time, you wanna put some grease in here, some grease in here. Some grease in here, or a drop of oil. Oil goes in here. Uh, make sure you clean it. Make sure because when you cut, you have a lot of lint in the cutting machine, in the fabric. And the, all the lint goes inside here, goes inside here. Make sure that you uh, blow air inside the, uh, the machine. This is basically about it. Very, very good machine. All the information is here, 110 volt. The voltage 110, 50, 60 hertz, and 8.8 um, .8 amp. A lot of people sell this under 4.4 amp. Ours is 8.8 .8 amp, very powerful. Uh, thank you for watching. This is David from goldstartool.com. Please like, share, and have a wonderful day.